Up with Krim begins now. 5.30 now on our Tuesday morning. Almost said Wednesday. <laughs> I <Monday>. wish. <laughs> well, a new year means new laws. We'll tell you everything you need to know about changes to minimum wage, family leave, and the legal smoking age. And I know my forecast is focused a lot on Wednesday, but a day before we get there, hopefully we have a dry one to get you going for today. And our fitness enthusiast is trying classes around the Spokane area, so you don't have to. This morning, Bree talks about a workout in Kendall Yards that focuses on balance and flexibility. Well, check this out. Look at that cutie. This is Apollo. He belongs to Spokane native and astronaut Anne McLean. The four-month-old pup is named Apollo after the NASA mission that went to the moon, of course. McLean even joked that the puppy training is more complicated than spacewalks. <laughs> <laughs> Astronaut I, jokes. <laughs> I mean, training a puppy is a tough job that requires a lot of attention. So, Apollo is sure cute. I know she's very active on social media. I can only hope she creates Apollo's Instagram, oh, Twitter, we'll all that. Stand by. We'll nice. make sure to share it. It's going to be like dogs. at Space Dog, right? <laughs> That'd be perfect. That space underscore dog. Copyright it. Let's go. There you go. <laughs> and if you're watching this morning, we got you. <laughs> So cute. Well, hey, what are we looking at outside this morning? I know it's very cold this morning, but yesterday ended up being pretty dry, being okay in the afternoon. Yeah, I think today is going to be very similar to what we saw yesterday. The only thing is we might flip the time of day. We might see a little bit of sunshine. I didn't notice if we got a little bit last night because I was trying to nap it off. But if we get any sunshine, it's going to be early this morning, not later on today. It's actually mostly cloudy at the moment, 27 degrees, and the wind's not too strong at the moment. Temperatures across the region, 25 Coeur d'Alene, 23 in St. Mary's, still hanging on to 30 degrees in Sandpoint at the moment. But that's, again, not terrible for December. It is just winter after all. Let's head on out to the bus stop. 26 degrees for the morning hours today, up to about 36 in the afternoon with mostly or just outright cloudy skies to work with. So at least another dry day. Sunshine is just a bonus if we see it because we're not seeing much, if anything, across the state of Washington at the moment. And it's all because our next weather system is just on the doorstep here. So all that cloud cover you see just off the coast that is heading our way in the form of rain, snow, wind, you name it. So I will time out this storm system coming up in about 10 to 15 minutes. Thank you, Thomas. So Four new Washington laws go into effect on January 1st, 2020. That will shake things up in the Evergreen State. First, the minimum wage will increase to $13.50 an hour. Now, this is actually the result of a law passed in 2016 that has been gradually raising the minimum wage from $9.47. That makes Washington's minimum wage $6 higher than the federal minimum. Second, the smoking age will rise to 21. This means anyone who wants to buy tobacco or vaping products have to be 21 to purchase them. However, it is still legal to possess these items at 18, so people can buy the products somewhere else and bring them back to Washington. The rules for family leave also change in 2020. Any person who works at least 820 hours a year can receive 12 to 18 weeks of leave for a qualifying life event. And of course, car seat laws change on January 1st. Children under four feet and nine inches will have to ride in a booster seat until they're 19 years old. It is 534 now. Well, a vote failed to end the strike at the Lucky Friday mine in North Idaho. Yesterday, union members rejected the latest offer from Hecla. That proposal failed by nine votes. 157 out of 190 miners mailed in ballots. At least one miner admitted they were ready to get back to work. They called the proposal better than what Hecla implemented before the strike. Now that strike started in 2017, and since then, many workers have moved out of the Silver Valley or have taken new jobs. An investigation is underway this morning about racial comments made at a Moses Lake basketball game. It happened last week at a match with Davis High School. Witnesses say a parent yelled a racial slur during the game. And since that incident, Davis parents started a petition to ban racism in high school sports. The petition has almost 500 signatures. College leaders in the Pacific Northwest may still feel the impacts of the last recession. It hit in 20, uh, 20, 2007. Now, during that time, experts say people delayed having children, and that means universities are preparing for smaller class sizes in a few years. Some leaders say schools are already adjusting their recruitment strategies to address the issue. 
Family members may soon be able to meet loved ones at the gate at SeaTac International Airport. Airport leaders say they will now issue 100 trusted visitor passes each day. People must apply ahead of time online. SeaTac is one of three airports in the country to use those visitor passes. I remember the time when we could go to the gates to actually meet our friends and loved ones um, at the gate. After 9-11, all of that um, changed. Well, the airport expects demand for those passes to be high, especially during the holidays. Seattle Seahawks wide receiver Josh Gordon is suspended from the team. Team leaders say he violated the NFL substance abuse policy. And this is not his first suspension. League investigators forced him to sit out of three games last year and two games in 2013 for the same issue. Now, the NFL has not specified what substance is involved. Gordon joined the Seahawks earlier this year after being released from the New England Patriots. Well, that's your morning rush. More news in less time. Let us know what's happening in your neighborhood by using the hashtag UpWithCrem on social media. Well, the Spokane family is bringing together a community in a unique way. And it all started with chickens like this. Check out their home. Oh, the sun's coming out, buddy. The Schluters live in a normal house at the end of your regular suburban cul-de-sac. <laughs> but their backyard <laughs> is anything but ordinary. You want to go find your chickens? That's because this is the 1010 farm. <laughs> you can pet them. So we stuck a sign out on uh, Sullivan and said feed a goat 25 cents. And it took off. People grab animal feed like it's candy from this handy machine that Josh Schluter built. And while they're at it, they feed the chickens, ducks, and a pig too. I think everybody's shocked that you can have some goats like this here in the city. They're really excited to have something local like this. So excited that this little machine is actually making the family some money. I think this year we might be up to like five or six hundred bucks. And not only can you feed the chickens out there, but you can also watch them through this camera here. And if you click that little button right there, it'll actually feed the chickens electronically. And that's how it all started. Just a simple webcam. Yeah, this is, it's been very nice to have here. Especially for little Emmett. With a pig. I thought he should grow up with some animals and some responsibilities and he loves it. Okay. <laughs> Even though Emmett is just in kindergarten, <laughs> he's already growing up just like dad. I grew up, yeah, right here in Spokane Valley. I graduated from Central Valley in 2000. Now his backyard farm basically shares a fence with his alma mater. This is home. Home for the Schluters, all their animals, and of course, the neighborhood kids' quarters. In Spokane Valley, Nicole Hernandez, Crem 2 News. Oh, that's just like where I grew up, where you have your school, then a farm, and then a school, <laughs> then a farm, and not uncommon to see farm animals walking around town. <laughs> Did anybody have one of those um, things where you could put quarters in and then get some food? Didn't have that. I know. I think that's, that's pretty cute. cute. I think I kids know. would get excited about that too. I like the little piggy. He wasn't little. He was a big. He was a big <laughs> boy. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Very fun. All right. 5:39 now. Well, in our next half hour, we're telling you about some backlash after a nonprofit is facing after hiring an adult performer for a conference. And two pro impeachment rallies are planned today in Spokane. We'll tell you more about those efforts up ahead. And congratulations this morning to Margaret. You've just won two Up With Crim coffee mugs, coffee beans, and a gift card to Thomas Hammer Coffee Roasters. If you'd like to enter to win, subscribe to the Crem newsletter or enter on the Up With Crem Facebook page.